Hi all, good morning. To start the week off, I want you to think of a patient or patients that walk specifically through your door because they know that their care, their chiropractic adjustments prevent them from getting sick. Whether it's at the onset or whether it's 100% preventative, we've all had patients, and I'm sure some come to your mind, that swear this is why they haven't gotten sick. This is not um, something uh, and result that they're getting out of right field. There is a correlation between the two, which I'm going to touch base on. But before I do, a few of our offices called Audibles last week and started talking about the Spanish flu pandemic in 1918, and I think that was a, that was a good call. So we're going to touch base on those statistics today. And remember, we've all discussed this before, the environment was different then. Clean water, food, sanitation, 100 years ago was different than it is now. But our government is citing that for some of the same reasons that they're taking the actions they are, uh, so, so will we. Right, And the conclusion is clear that Spanish flu uh, infected back in 1918, if you were under medical care, medical care, one in 15 died. If you were under chiropractic care at that time, one in 866 died. So why is that? Let's just put a little bit of research, a little bit of physiological text behind that. So remember the link between your nerve system and immune system has been studied over and over and over again. And the results are clear. But let's not take it from me. Let's take it from Dr. Felton, who's an endocrinologist, all right, on this matter. And he says, and I'm going to paraphrase some of his studies here, that uh, norepinephrine, it's an adrenaline-like hormone. It's a stress hormone. is present in sympathetic nerve fibers. Remember, your adjustment inhibits or turns off your sympathetic state, your stress response, uh, and facilitates your parasympathetic, your healing state. So that norepinephrine, that adrenaline is present in sympathetic nerve fibers that control lymph organs uh, in your spleen. And our uh, lymphatic organs and our spleen are extremely important in the immune response, right? Uh, he goes on to say that these organs uh, and these adrenalines and, and these neurotransmitters play a significant role in the regulation of the immune system. So he determined that, quote, stressful conditions lead to altered measures of immune function uh, and therefore al altered susceptibility to a variety of diseases. And many stimuli which primarily act on the central nervous system can profoundly alter immune responses. Hopefully you got all that because the conclusion is the immune system is highly impacted by the nerve system through the autonomic portion of your nerve system and the endocrine system. So long study condensed down that your nerve system and your immune system go hand in hand. You cannot have one affected without the other. So with all of the media, political, sometimes a corporate fear mongering, in my opinion, um, and anxiety and hysteria that's going on out there related to the coronavirus, please stay calm. Uh, follow your chiropractor's advice on how to strengthen your immune system. Uh, this is something that a lot of other providers are, are not giving you at this time, right? Uh, and by all means, continue to get adjusted. This is a time that requires serious diligence, yet empathy, uh, listening, yet education, uh, and serious belief and conviction. So uh, at Ability, we will not live in fear. We will continue to live our lives and maximize our potential through the power of the chiropractic adjustment.